Welcome to our SOLIDWORKS Simulation Standards. In today's lesson, you will carry out static as well as fatigue analysis of a crankshaft. In order to determine fatigue life, percentage damage as well as fatigue loading factors of this crankshaft. Under cyclic loading with constant amplitude. And this crankshaft is fixed on at on these both ends and a load of 5000 newton is applied on this surface, surface where this surface connect with the connecting rods so first of all download our 3d model of this crankshaft from our video description link so first of all open this crankshaft in sidewalks 2023 or whichever you have so in order to carry out fatigue simulations of crankshaft we must do a static analysis on a part so carrying a static analysis is a prerequisite of fatigue simulations so first of all we will do a static analysis on this shaft so start a new study and select the static one you can change the name of your study if you want now this crankshaft is made of plain carbon steel. So assign material, select plain carbon steel. After that, we will apply the fixtures on these both faces. On these both cylindrical faces. So go to fixtures, right click and then fix geometry. Then select this face as well as this face okay so we have applied fixed boundary conditions on this fixture after that you will assign a load on this trendy faces in direction of the y or in y axis so right click on the loads select the force and select the this face then from here select the directions then select a reference plane or edge so we will select a reference plane that is the front plane from here you can select the y-axis change the directions and assign a load of 5000 5, newton so we have applied both the loads as well as fixtures. Now it's time to create a curvature based mesh. So create a mesh and from mesh parameters select curvature based mesh. Okay, wait until your mesh is being generated. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe that for more Sidewalk Simulations tutorials. So our mesh has been completed now you can see the mesh density now it's time to run our simulation study and wait until your solution converge so our static simulation study has been completed where our maximum stress is 114 megapascal that is within the yield strength of the material that is 220 megapascals so we can start our fatigue simulation study now so in order to start a fatigue simulation go to simulation tab and select a new study and from here you have to select the fatigue here are the four options so we will select the first option there is constant amplitude with defined cycles. Okay. Now go to the properties of the fatigue. And here you have to select the random interactions as well as for computing alternate strength, we will select stress intensity. 
and for main stress production there is non model engine selected and we want to have to define the infinite life and keep the production factor 1. We will tell all these parameters in detail in an other video or in any other tutorials. After that, go to loadings and add an event. From here, you have to define the number of cycles. So, we want to check the fatigue life for this number of cycles. And here the types of loading. As our load is fully reversed, we will select the this fully reversed options. And from study tab, you should ensure that your static one or static study has been selected. Okay. So we have added an event that defines cycles as well as link or static study and the loading types. So it's time to run our fatigue simulations now. No, and other thing is and other thing remains that is to define its material properties or to define the SN curves. So go to the parts, right click on the part and apply edit fatigue data. From here you have to define an SN curve select that derive from material elastic modulus. So select the based on SME aesthetic aesthetic steel curves. So here is the number of curves and here the stress alternating stress against this number of cycles. So apply this SN curves to our part. So you can see the SN curve has been applied to this current shaft materials. You can check that uh, the minimum alternating stress is 210 megapascal against these cycles. Okay, now run your study now. So, uh, here is the message that alternative stress everywhere in the model are below the minimum SN curve stress value that results no damage. Okay. Here is another message that if you want to modify the SN curve or data and try again, press yes to stop. Otherwise, if you want to continue the calculation, press no. So, we don't want to change the SN curves. Press no. So, you can see that percentage damage or damage percentage that maximum is 30%. That is less than that of 100% because it is the fatigue criteria that maximum damage percentage should be less than the 100%. That means our part or crankshaft will not go to the failure mark. Similarly, we can check if we want to check the fatigue life, click on the result 2. So here is the fatigue life that is infinite. So this crankshaft has infinite, infinite fatigue loadings or life under these loadings. You can also evaluate the load factor of fatigue. Okay.
you can see that the minimum load factor of fatigue is 1.968 that is greater than 1 so our crankshaft will no not go to fatigue failures so if we want to change the loadings go to the static study double click on this loadings and change loadings to 20,000 Newton run your fatigue simulation study again and let's see what happened if on increasing uh, Wait until Sardworks again start its static as well as fatigue simulation analysis. So its so static simulation has been completed. Now it's time to process the fatigue simulations. So fatigue analysis has been completed. Here you can see that the maximum percentage damage is 3918 that is much more than that of the 100% that is about the 4000 and the required value is 100 that means as percentage damage is much more than that of the 100% that means your crankshaft is going to fatigue filler mark if you want to check the life of this Crankshaft, double click on this and this crankshaft has only 7657 cycles is only its uh, fatigue life under these cycles it will not go to the failure and after these cycles the crankshaft will go, will go to the inferior mode similarly if you want to check the load factor after this fatigue life that is the less than the one that is 0 0.492 so under these loading condition if we apply a load of 20,000 newtons uh, this crankshaft go into failure mode for fatigue I hope you enjoyed this simulation study of crankshaft and please make a practice of this tutorials thank you for watching on our channel please subscribe and share our videos thank you take care bye bye